Well, y'all, let me show you what real shed hunting is all about. To say I am in tough terrain is a gross understatement. I am in a marsh that is extremely, I mean, it's dry out for about, it hasn't rained good in 10 days, so I'm able to walk in it a lot easier. And here is a monster. And when I mean monster, I mean a heavy mass, big antlers. Been out here a year, that's why it's greenish. And by the way, before I picked it up, let me show you the smallest antler I've ever found right there. And it is, it's literally, I have, I have relatively small hands. I'm five foot eight and it fits in the palm of my hand. Smallest one I've ever found. And now I'm showing you probably one of the largest mass ones I've ever found. It's right here. So uh, we're going to pick it up. It's going to take a lot to get that green off. Good Lord, but it, it's in a rough spot. Good night. All right, boy, that is awesome. That is really kind of unusual, isn't it? Man, it sure is. Boy, that's kind of a what I call non-typicalish. It's not a real word. So, uh, I'm gonna back this off a little bit. There you go. Man, that's pretty cool. Cool stuff. Yeah, uh, it's been out here a year. But the environment is extremely wet. So this is last year's. But you don't see any squirrel damage because there's really no maybe some other animals, but squirrels really have a tough time in here. There's no tall trees. There's all this what they call Chinese tallow, which is an invasive species that takes over the wetlands here in southeast Texas. And there's a ton of that. And no big tall trees for them to come on here and munch on this gorgeous antler. So, there you go. Then I was going dry, and then, you know, in my spiritual beliefs, I have a spirit guide that pretty much helped me. I mean, I found 441 in four years, 42, 43 now. So, uh, something out there that keep me from getting killed too. But uh, I was kind of complaining, kind of talking, going, okay, guys. And they give me the tiniest shit. And I'm like, all right, that's funny, real funny. And uh, haha. And then I find this thing. So, you know what? I I'm going to have to keep my mouth shut and not, not gripe so much. I'm pretty grateful for what I have. I'm pretty grateful for that, too. So, there you go. There's an awesome shed in the itty bitty. So, I'm going to get moving. Man, I am gassed. God, I'm gassed. All right, I'll be talking to y'all later. Y'all have a fine one. Bye now. Well, y'all, man, I am feeling, I was headed to the car, and I see, look up, and I see a girl deer running away, and I'm like, oh, okay, you don't always see me here, but you don't always see him, she's running, and I look over to my right, and I see, right there, that big old bone, big old hip, and, uh, I'm like, dang, that's a big hip. And all of a sudden, I see the pile of bones here, and then bang, there is a friggin' awesome deadhead. Spectacular, and you know what? I just found this shed just now. Man, those jeans sure do look in. Boy, they look familiar, don't they? Don't know. Look at that. Will you look at that? Y'all, if I sound, that's probably one of the largest mass deadheads I've ever found. That is spectacular. Jesus, that is beautiful. Man, that might be him from last year. I don't know. I don't think so. I don't know. You know, of all the puzzles you get to have in life, that ain't a half bad one to have, is it? I mean, goodness gracious. But it might be. And it just might be. I'm not sure. Good night. That's this year's deadhead. Definitely related. That is spectacular, kids. He got head. He sure got head. Three months? Two, three months? You know what? Probably two. Oh, I see a little green. Yeah. Two, two months. So, man, I am, I am, I'm in pretty bad shape. <laughs> I probably have walked about six, seven miles through really rough terrain. And then here you go. 
Your verse has been real good to me today. I mean, they were kind of messing with me with a tiny, tiny shed I found, and then here you go. They're kind of like, shut up, keep walking. And I did. I kept walking. So uh, look at that. Will you look at that? That is spectacular. Man, I'm I'm just, I'm awestruck. Awesome. Well, gosh, I don't know what else to say. Other than I'm bleeding and sweating. <laughs> Dude, I'm, I'm pretty cut up. I am really, really cut up. I mean, it's, I've been, uh, this is area covered in thorns and it's Chinese tallow and grass. I mean, it's a really good place for cover, but uh, it's also a good place to get cut up. So look at that. Thank you, universe. Thanks, spear guides. I ain't gonna say anything ugly about anyone for a while. I appreciate y'all. All right. Y'all have a fine day. I will talk to y'all later by now. Oh, I think I got me a molting. I'm pretty sure it's a king snake. And um, he's molting because his eyes are blue, which means his skin is coming off. Pretty sure that's a king snake. That's a king snake, kids. And, and some of y'all may correct me, but that's a king snake. And you see, he can climb a tree. That's the real deal. You're like, king snake is climbing a tree. Yes, they are. They're amazing. Look at that. Ain't that cool? That is awesome stuff. I'm here on a shed hunt, so uh, he done found his little hole in a tree. He's still in there, actually. I don't know. Maybe we can see a little movement from him. He was looking at me a second ago. Oh, maybe not. All right. <sighs> He's in his little hole. So, just to give you an idea of the area I'm in. This is um, very low land. You see all these palmettos. So, in heavy rain, this is underwater. I wouldn't say deep, but <laughs> it's pretty floody stuff. So, I'm going to keep on shed hunting. And there is a pretty good video of a molten king snake. Well, I'll talk to you guys in a bit. Y'all have a nice one. Bye.